Facing the unknown software exception 0xe0, 434352a error? In this video, I'll show you how to solve it quickly and easily. By pressing the Windows key and the R key, you can open the Run window. Now there you'll need to type MessConfig. Click on the General tab and then uncheck the box beside the Load Startup Items. Make sure the Load System Services is checked. Click on the Services tab, then check the Hide All Microsoft Services, and then click on the Disable All. Now, click on Apply and OK. Reboot your computer, it will be booted in clean mode. Check if the error is still happening or not. If the error is still there, then go for the next fix. Open Run Window by pressing Windows key plus R together. In the Run window, type CMD and then press the Enter key. Type SFC slash Scano and hit Enter. This will take some time. Wait till the process is complete. Type SFC slash Scano slash off boot deer equal sign C Dodge slash off windier equal sign CJ Windows and hit enter. Wait till the process is completed. Type CHKDSK per F slash R and hit enter. Press Y and hit enter. The disk checkup will be done at the time of the next reboot of your computer. Open your browser and Google Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool and click on the Download Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool from Official. Click on Download. Choose a folder, Location, to download the tool. Now, go to the folder location where you have downloaded the tool. The name of the tool will be NetFX Repair Tool. Double click on NetFX Repair Tool. Click on Yes if prompted by User Account Control. Check the box, I have read and accept the license terms, and click on Next. Again, click on Next. Click on Finish when the process has finished. Press Windows key plus R and type appwiz.cpl. Then, click on OK. Look for the .NET framework in the list of the programs. Double-click on it. Click on Uninstall. Wait till the uninstallation process is complete. Reboot your computer, press Windows key plus R, and type C Windows Sow, hit enter. This will open the Windows folder in C Drive. Look for the folder Assembly and right click on it. Click on Rename and rename it to Assembly 1. Similarly, find the folder Microsoft.net and right click on it and click on Rename and type Microsoft Net 1. Close Windows folder. To open the Run window, simply press Windows key plus R and type Regedit. Hit Enter. Now click on the H key underscore local underscore machine and then click on Software and click on Microsoft. Right click on Net Framework and click on Delete. Reboot your computer. Download .NET Framework from these links and install them. Download .NET Framework 3.5 Download .NET Framework 4.5 Reboot your computer and your problem should be solved. If it is not solved, go for the next solution. After opening the Run window by pressing the Windows key and then R key, type sysdm.cpl and hit the Enter key. Click on the System Protection tab and then click on System Restore. After that, simply click on Choose a different restore point. Click on Next. Click on the system restore point you want. Now click on the Next. Click on Finish to finish the process. This will restart your system to the system restore point you selected. Your problem should be solved. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.